Hello everyone, today I'm going to review a fun lens, the 7 Artisans 10mm f2.8 full frame manual fisheye lens Mark II. I know not many people use fisheye lenses, but at some point, even if you think it is not for you, you should give it a try because it's a nice lens to experiment with and can open new ideas that can be satisfying at the end of the day. My name is Andrei Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and I love reviewing lenses, so for more reviews subscribe and watch my older videos. Let me show you quickly what you get in the box because it is not just papers and the lens, you also get this nice leather pouch where you can store the lens. The zipper is waterproof so this pouch is also good at protecting the lens from water, dust and moisture. The lens is very well built like most 7 Artisans lenses, it is made from metal, it has an aperture ring, sadly the aperture ring doesn't have clicks but it is nice to use and smooth, it is well damped and I didn't have problems with it turning by mistake. The focus ring turns smoothly and it is nice to use, being such a wide lens achieving focus is really easy. The mount is metal, it has no rubber gasket and no electronic contacts because this is a fully manual lens. The lens has an integrated petal shaped hood that can be covered with this metal cap. The cap stays on quite nice for this type of design. There is no filter thread on the front of the lens so you cannot put filters on. The lens has a field of view of 185 degrees and the optical design is 11 elements in 8 groups with a minimum focus distance of 15 cm, but more about this later. And the weight of the lens is 602 grams. The overall design of the lens is nice and simple, the markings are engraved and here is the unique thing about this lens, the markings are fluorescent and can be charged in light so you can see them in the dark, this is a great feature for astrophotographers. This and the f2.8 aperture make it an interesting option, but how is the image quality? Let's start with flares, it's a fisheye lens, of course you are going to get flares and some glaring but the good news is that they don't affect contrast that much, which is a great thing. The other great thing is I haven't seen any chromatic aberrations wide open. This is the first fisheye lens with a bright aperture that I've tested and didn't see any chromatic aberrations. Well, you can see some near the edge of the frame but only in some situations and those are easily correctable. The image quality is great starting from f2.8, the center of the frame has enough details in the center and mid frame, the same with contrast, the far corners are a bit soft but the very far corners which is good in my opinion for a lens like this. If you stop down to f4 you get a bit more contrast in the center of the frame and corners, stopping down further improves the image quality in the corners. Overall a great performance for a fisheye lens starting from f2.8, the good news continue with the minimum focus distance which is 15cm as I said earlier. The image quality is sharp from f2.8 and getting so close can give you some crazy results as you can see here. The bokeh also looks nice and smooth for a fisheye lens, it could have been a lot worse. You can get some cool looking images with this lens especially when it comes to architecture as I did here. This is where the next Fantastic Four movie is going to be partially filmed. Overall one of the best fisheye lenses I've tested on the channel, great image quality from f2.8 and I think this lens can handle more megapixels than my Nikon ZF. Good build quality like most 7 artisan lenses, a nice feature that more lenses should have fluorescent scale markings and a decent price, so if you are looking for a lens like this I highly recommend the 7 artisans 10mm f2.8 fisheye lens mark II. If this video was helpful subscribe, like and use the links in the description at no extra cost to you. I've started to add written reviews on my website so go check them out. Thank you for watching, see you next time.